What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. Before we get started, make sure you please like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. Today I'm going to be discussing a video of a guy that I like to follow on um, YouTube. Um, you might have heard of him. His channel was called The Poor Man's Podcast. Um, <clears throat> generally he does like reactions and stuff and things of that nature, but he had got invited to what looked like a debate um, with the channel, the crew season, I think. I'm not sure. Um, I think I've heard of the crew season before. I don't think I reacted to any of their videos or anything yet. Um, so he got invited on here and he had a conversation with this lady and um, you know, they were going back and forth. I guess, seems like they were pretty much just trying to distinguish like who's more responsible for, you know, the failing of relationships and you know how dating is and now between men and women and of course you got a woman on here you know typical you know typical feminist mindset um blaming men for everything and you know allergic to accountability um so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and um swing it to you um we're gonna go ahead and um, get to go into back it to your point the reason we don't have families is because black men are not present Oh, let's God. take a plethora of examples. Let's look at Tristan Thompson. Tristan has a third baby mama, okay? Mm -hmm. And he was willingly sleeping with this woman unprotected, nutting in her, mm -hmm. okay? Right. He knew what the outcome could be. Right. right, But as soon as she got pregnant, he said, well, I'm not gonna be present. So okay. why are you even having the baby? So why, why are you having unprotected sex with a woman when you don't even plan on being present for a, a possible baby that could happen. Okay, listen to Let's this. Take though. future. Hit me up. Okay, Let's yeah, take, go ahead. Talk, talk future. future. Talk future. Ten, ten, he has like what, 10 children? 10 of them. 10. God. NBA young boy. What? 10 of them. All of them girls. So you have one sexually irresponsible man but you have seven sexually irresponsible women. Or in Future's case, you said 10, nine sexually wow. irresponsible women. Because why You're would you- blaming the woman. Listen to this. If you're a woman, why are you laying down with the man that you know that does not take care of his children? Uh-oh. Going after- Now, I want to stop this here because that's a very valid point. Now, I want y'all to pay real close attention after this say he said that. Do you see that girl's reaction? Do you see her reaction? This is what we deal. This is this is this is the kind of women that we're dealing with, man. They don't want to take accountability for anything, bro. Like real talk. They don't want to take accountability for everything. Everything is our fault. That's the look of a woman who's like, you know what, you're right, but I'm gonna try to swing it. But but you're right, but I'm gonna think of a way to try to spin it because we can't take responsibility for that. It gotta be y'all fault. Now, Poor Man's Podcast made a, the perfect point. How in the hell can you not hold the woman responsible as well when this man has a repeated history of not being there for his children? And then on top of that, you have all the time in the world to decide whether you want to have that baby or not. And instead of exercising the right to not have it, you choose to have it, even when it's clear that the guy that got you pregnant isn't going to be there to help you with the child. So, on that note, with y'all having all the res all the um reproductive rights, is it really the fair to just solely blame men? I don't know. Let's continue though. You're going after men that you find that are successful that already have the clout. You know that they're not going to stick to you. You already said that. And then when you get left in the dust, you cry on social media like this, like you didn't know it was going to happen. You knew what you came for. Y'all know how men are. Uh -oh. Men can go into a relationship. They might have a bad history. They might have a bad rap. But when they, when you go into the relationship, they might be telling you sweet nothing. Okay? Next thing uh... you know, you think you're different. Uh oh. Okay? So you think you're different and you feel like the story might play out differently for you. So how are you going to blame the woman when it's the man that has the children? This woman is coming in a, no kids, no history. The man has all the history and you're telling me you want to blame the woman? I blame the woman because she's dealing with a man she knows is, it, number one, because she's dealing with a man that she knows is inconsistent. Number two, because she has birth control. She has plan Bs. She has 
And men can't and men just, can't hold on, hold on. No, I got you. Okay, hold on. I got you. Men can't just be responsible. I got you. I got you. She has birth control. Plan B's. She has condoms. Worst case scenario, she has reproductive rights. She when a man, condoms. when a man sleeps with a woman and that child or that what it is, I ain't trying to, you know, for the for the algorithm. When it goes inside of her, and it's easy to get a God quote. God damn it. So you only pay for uh, it. My bad, y'all. You know? Sorry, one second. Yeah. When it goes inside of her, that's up to her. He is 100% responsible. The government will even hold him responsible. A woman can put a child up for adoption and have no no, no connection to that child whatsoever. Men have less reproductive rights than women. Now, we can talk about condoms, but if we just keeping it a buck, these women decided to lay down with men that they knew were inconsistent, and that's their problem, and that's the problem at large. A lot of women are deciding to sleep with men that they know are inconsistent, and they don't care. So you said that women have condoms. So why is it whenever a man tries to go in raw, you tell him no, you're like, where's the condom at? Oh, I don't have condoms. But if the woman was to pull a condom out, would you not feel like, why she have condoms? No, I feel like, okay, she being responsible at least. Cause what are we doing? If I'm not willing to have a child and I understand me as a man, me being a responsible man, this is what you should be looking for. If you're looking for a man that's gonna question you on that, you shouldn't even be in that situation no way. Well, why are you trying to go on raw in the first place? But why are you dealing with a man that you don't know in the first place? How do you say I don't know him? Just cause, what, how? When you lay down with a man and you ain't even talked about sex before you having sex, what are you doing having sex? Why do you have to talk about sex before you have sex? Because, why can't it just be spontaneous? Because if you can't have a conversation about something that you're uncomfortable with, why are you doing it? You that you're uncomfortable? If you're, you're doing something that could dictate the entire direction of your life, yeah. and you think that you should be as irresponsible as to not even have a conversation as to whether you should use protection before you do it as a woman. So you're telling me you never had sex unprotected? I'm telling you I got a wife, so I do it how I shoot the club up, baby, but that's none, that's that's me. We hit on some good points when it comes to the whole the, the whole dynamic. But the truth of the matter is, and I think... Look, I'm gonna go ahead and um, stop that here, man. Um, so yeah man um this is what we dealing with man um i wanted to hit on that part specifically because for one it just shows you um how delusional um women modern women can be and and in particular when it comes to um having children, reproductive rights, and things of that nature. How, even though, you know, once, once a man orgasms, I just find it funny that we have no control whatsoever, yet women seem to feel entitled to hold us to all the responsibility even in situations like she mentioned Tristan Thompson who specifically told this girl I am not going to be there for that child I don't want to have that child this woman is going to have the child anyway for obvious reasons because she's chasing a bag um she know who Tristan Thompson is she knows he's a mil you know millionaire NBA player She's gonna she's gonna use this kid to get a bag. That's unfortunate, but th this is the world we live in when it comes to women. Um, the reason why I think part of the reason why I get so upset about it is because we live in a world now where women can pretty much use their sexual their sexuality to finesse women. To, I'm sorry to finesse men of a certain caliber and get over on them only to turn around and complain it's like at some point as as adults regardless of gender uh, when you make decisions that you feel have cost you you know from getting the kind of outcomes that you really want you got to take a step back and just be like okay what can i do what are what can what can i do as far as things that i can control to get better outcomes and for women one of those things would be to not have children by a man who already has children with other women i mean you would think it would make common sense because 
like for one, why would you want to be in the middle of all that? I mean, really, after the first baby mama or two, any any woman that had a baby by future or NBA young boy, I'm sorry, but y'all remedial. I'm sorry. That that's I really I I would really have to question those women's intelligence. And really, if I was a if I was a guy and I was dating any of any of these any of these guys, these two rappers, baby mamas, I would question their character because my thing, my I would question them like, why would you have that man's baby when he already had this X amount of baby mamas and he ain't really doing nothing for them? So as a man, that would make me question question those women's character too. And women need to understand that men are waking up to this and men are tired of it. Because as men, y'all, I'm like, y'all, the per, the prerequisites y'all have for men is already so high because of social media and because of the fact that y'all can pretty much get rich quick or get rich quick or get well off quick off of um a guy's a guy's need to get attention um from attractive women. I mean, because if you really think about it, a man, a man. The male libido is probably the primary source of the, of, the, of the economy running the way it does now. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna do a whole video on that in the future. But um, yeah, you know what I mean. I just, I just want to finish it off like this because it's a new year, man, and you know we got to get past the point of. Uh, Cause that we gotta get to a point where we gotta start figuring out what we what what can we do to better ourselves to come across better women. Because I mean we can keep calling these women we can call these women out all day and night, man. But at the end of the day, let's I'm like, let's keep it a buck. Most of them, if not majority of them, they ain't really trying to hear it. They ain't trying to listen. I mean, it's one of the reasons why you know people are you know i mean i don't i can't remember which study but they're predicting more than half of the women population is gonna be single in the next five ten years you know i mean there's already more single women on the planet than ever before so you know what i mean just we just got to get better at making decisions you know what i mean when it comes to male select when it comes to mate selecting on both sides, both genders. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end that here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and all that good jazz. I'll catch you in the next video. Do